That was way too easy. See that coming. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel again. Today, of course, the final home game, the final game in general this year, Huddersfield Town at home. It's going to be an interesting one, an evening game. It hasn't been an evening game for quite a while. I think it was, uh, when was it? Generally, Luton. Wow, that's quite a while back, isn't it? But of course, Huddersfield sixth in the league. We're ninth. We finally lost for the first time since we lost to Fulham at the end of October, it was, um, we were going to lose eventually, weren't we? It was not nice to lose, of course, and we didn't play well, but, you know, we had players out, we had to play Finn back, and, you know, as much as I like Finn back, he was a little bit out of his depth. Obviously, we got Barnsley on Monday, we actually got three home games in the next 11 days, which is excellent. So, uh, yeah, I'll be at all of those, thankfully, and that means plenty of content for you to watch. So, if you're looking forward to that, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for plenty of content going into the new year and throughout it. So uh, yeah, you Reds, let's go. We're here with Josh again. We may remember him from the last vlog. Uh, what do you think today against Huddersfield? 2-1. Excellent. Have you seen the lineup? Yeah, 2-1. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit of an interesting lineup, isn't it, really? Yeah, we'll see how we do. Yeah, we could. I don't think we can go into the players, but near the players, can't we, if we win? So, be a big result. Let's just hope that we beat Stoke. I never thought I'd say them words, but... <laughs> yeah, it would help us, wouldn't it? It would help us a lot. Yeah. Excellent. You read. You read. What do you think today, Huddersfield? Today, I think 2-1, like he just said. I was going to say that. Excellent. 2-1, it's going to be a very, very tight game. Yeah, I agree. Half loose. Anyway, we arrived safely in the Rapid Meal, so thanks for the plan for that, mate. And, yeah, you read. You read. We've got another bad referee then, have we? Shock. I'm imagining my shock. Oh! Wow! That's one of the best chances we've had of the game. It's mainly been in our own half. It's got better recently though. We had that chance earlier. Terrible officials as always though. Last one for you, mate. Oh, uh, no one marking him. That was way too easy. See that coming. We've got flares in the away end, but that was a dreadful. Um, Poor bit of defending. Completely caught out Spence. Toffolo managed to find I forgot who scored, but too easy. Look at the flare. I'm in the bottom start. Oh, another. Nice to say, man. So that's what you that's what you call an away end, isn't it? that we should be losing this game. It's been, I mean, the first half an hour it was all Huddersfield. And then, really, since they scored, it's been all of us. Like, so many chances. They hit the post, it's been really close to scoring. They just hasn't been on anyone on the end of it. 
Uh, Silver's done pretty well compared to him. He's on the other side. I get a better look at him in the second half if he stays on anyway. Jed. This could be my last game where I see Jeb play live. He, he just is going to go back to Burr, isn't it? Like, he just is. And it's... I mean, you, get, you, get, you, you say you don't get attached to lone players, but what an absolute brilliant, brilliant player he is. I don't know whether it would have been on camera clearly or not, but it was a bit down there near the bridge for them where the ball was on the brink of going out and he just charged towards it and kept it in. Just brilliant. Summer gets booked for this. Three Samba will get booked for that, and yet he doesn't. How's that fair? I don't know what to say uh, based off the second half. It's not been bad, it's not been good, it's just too wasteful, sloppy at times. Just very average, really. <laughs> That's just made everyone leave. <laughs> That's just made everyone get up. That's the final straw. So, Dad, we somehow managed to lose that. What yeah, do you yeah, think? Yeah, well, we weren't good, we weren't bad. If Steve Cooper was playing the team that we wanted to, i.e., Yates, Lolly, Mighton, Low. This goes on. Instead of having replacements that, to be honest, weren't up to it, and playing players like Colback out of position because Bong's not up to it anyway, we'd have beaten Middlesbrough, we'd have beaten Huddersfield just now, but yeah, losing 1 0, it's not like we were beaten 4 0 and we lost to Fulham, but yeah, could do better. But under the circumstances, you know, I, I am making allowances for them. But, you know, it's 1st of January in a few, few days' time. You watch what will happen. Players will come in. Players might even leave. Permanent loan players might be signed, so... To be honest, I think it might be more the opposite with the loan players. I think you're right, yeah. Just to say Happy New Year and... Uh, Come on, you Reds in 2022. So I really don't know what to make about that game, to be honest. Um, I think the best word for it is wasteful and frustrating, <laughs> because uh, Huddersfield are the definition of a team that I hate in terms of the style of play. You get a goal, you sit back, defend, and you time waste. Because Huddersfield have done that so many times before against us. They're known for it. Huddersfield time wasting really early on, continuously, no matter what the crowd are doing and swearing at you, and no matter if you get booked, just keep time wasting. They've been doing it for years, so long as they've been back in the championship, every time. And we've got a poor record against Huddersfield, apart from beating them early in the season, and obviously two seasons ago we beat them 3-1, um, at all the other games they've beaten us. But ultimately, that's not relevant. We defended very poorly for the first goal, and, like I say, Huddersfield have sat back and defended and we're perfectly happy to do that. And, if a team's going to do that, no matter how good you are, you're going to find it difficult. I don't know how Johnson lasted 90 minutes. He's an absolutely fantastic player. Brilliant talent. Cannot sell him at all. I want 20 million at least for him. But, today, and to be honest, in previous games, he has been a bit flat. But, this is the thing, we can't drop him, can we? Because, who comes in? We haven't got Martin or Lolly. And this is the thing. We don't have any firepower right now. You look at Barnsley when we were losing the first game. You look at Bristol City. We were losing those games. We bought Martin on. We, we had Lolly as well. We had firepower on the bench. Today we didn't. And we didn't against Burr either. We had Carvalho, who's ineffective. And Taylor, who is also ineffective. We didn't have any firepower. And that, that's it. That's why it's problem. Strength in depth. We're not good enough. 
But yeah, I don't want to go on for too long. If you have enjoyed this, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. The final upload of the year, this of course. So please, I'd just like to wish you. But then I said please again. <laughs> I'd like to wish you a happy new year. And also a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you that watches the channel. No matter how long you've been here. It is greatly appreciated. Every single one of you that clicked on one of my videos. Just to get one person what my channel is. is fantastic. And yeah. I love doing this. I want to continue doing it for as long as I can. I want to try and build the channel as much as I can. And yeah, disappointing game. A disappointing moment at the moment for Forrest. And I'll see you very soon.